fables, stories about animals, are often an analogy about the various stages of consciousness we can find ourselves in. As you do a step back, to observe your thoughts and your emotions, you might feel as if you get more overview in life. If you have more overview in life you feel more happy than before. Some call this, you have a higher vibration. The universe is a vibrational place. Tesla said, if you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency and vibration. What does that have to do with my emotions? Remember the emotional scale? If you look more closely at the emotion scale, you see the spiral represented by colors. These colors represent frequencies, red has a long wavelength and a low frequency, purple has a short wavelength and a high frequency. So shame and fear have a low frequency, and love and joy are high. When you deliberately, try to be on the left scale, your frequency rises, and somehow you get more overview, which causes even more happy feelings. Then you are in an upward spiral. When I was often on the right scale, in a downward spiral, I felt like a frog. A frog has a low point of view, it can be eaten at any time. Danger can come from all sides. The world seems a dangerous place. This constant feeling of fear, prompted me to scratch behind my ear, wondering what life is all about. I learned that you can step back to observe thoughts and emotions. This caused my vibration to rise a bit, and I got more overview. A fox has more overview. A fox does not feel threatened all the time. It sees where the danger comes from. It feels rather smart. The world seems a better place. This thoughts and emotion observe, thing seems to work, let's see if I can get even higher on the scale. This brings me to the stag. A stag has even more overview. A stag hardly feels threatened. He sees where the danger comes from and can defend itself. The world is a rather nice place to be. By then I discovered who I really was, an eternal soul who cannot really be threatened. I discovered the difference between the ego and the soul. You can look at the ego as programming, to help you survive while you did not know who you really were, an eternal soul, because the ego needs you to survive, it always makes you scared and on your toes. Distrusting the world. Distrusting the universe, the soul does not feel threatened, it wants to give love, and feels free. It trusts the world, it trusts the universe. This brings me to the eagle. Totally fearless it soars over the mountains, crossing vast distances. It has a perfect overview. It does not feel threatened at all. The world is a fantastic place to be. In short, play with these frequencies and vibes. And try not to be the frog very long. It wrecks your nerves. Aim for the eagle. The higher you get, the easier it goes. Remember you are never truly alone. I hope this helps, see you next time.